All right, welcome back. Let's have a look at how the iron forge and the ripcord velocity compare. So both balls have that infusion MVP pearl with the same 5500 LSP finish. So we have to expect the difference is obviously in the core. And this is actually a very good example to demonstrate how surface contact is 70% of the ball reaction. The balls are distinguishable though since there still is 30% of the reaction available to manipulate. So with the cores, the detonators 249 and 054 diff, the oblivion cores 254 and 048 diff. So theoretically, the detonator is earlier and stronger. And I would say that bears out you know, from direct. They don't look very different to be honest. I mean, at the end of the day, you'll see that the ripcord velocity is a touch thinner in reaction. Um, you know, that term I use, that's kind of my way of describing a, a sort of later reaction, a skid flip type of reaction. They go about the same length, but there's a perceived earlier move from the iron forge because the core is transitioning sooner than the velocity, which creates a bit of a smoother, heavier roll. The telltale giveaway of this is misses in. When I miss in with the velocity, I get soft hit sometimes carrying the corner but many times not or even leaving bucket type of stuff the iron forge on the other hand you know never left a bucket and carried the seven most of the time and the reason why this is important is because of the walled shots that we typically see uh, where you have lots of friction outside say seven eight and then lots of oil inside eight nine um, so it may hold pocket but you know you may not carry as much. It not only makes the iron forge a couple boards stronger, but actually a bit more consistent to aid how shot bowler on the type of conditions you see. In other words, it blends the cliff better, and in the end, that's worth its weight in gold. Now that means the ripcord velocity clearly sits further down in the arsenal, even with the same cover stock. The two-hand comparison also shows a difference. In this case, the velocity being weaker actually gave me more miss room because I'm a rev dominant two-hander. So essentially, I can make the ball go sideways, but was able to take advantage of the fact that the velocity core transitioned later than the iron forge. So the iron forge is definitely stronger, which meant pushing me even deeper. The velocity gave me more room out, you know, missing out because of the flippiness, and more room missing in because it sits while the rev rate helps the core drive. So ultimately, it really depends on the bowler style and the conditions. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and see you soon in our next video.